Welcome, welcome, welcome to How to Fall in Love with Your Budget. I'm Dr. Brenda. I'm a sociologist, a financial coach, and founder of the Gutsy Women Finances Community. You are watching a recording of the presentation only, and I do this for three reasons. Number one is when you come to one of my live events, one of the these, these live promo events, I want you to be able to participate and be able to talk about your personal financial issues. Hey, I want you to have the privacy and confidence to do that. You know that that information is not spread all over the internet. Second reason is practical. Okay. I've, I'm traveling. I'm, I'm a full-time RVer and sometimes I've got technology glitches. This allows me to present this in a place where I don't have my live is not going to go wacky, so it gives you a nice, clean presentation. Third one is, hey, I know your time is valuable, and you might want to speed this up. This makes it all easier to speed it along, so welcome to this recorded presentation. Okay, um, I want you, you know, we're going to keep, we're going to, I'm going to plow through this material. I want you to have a notepad, a pen. Um, oh, this is my favorite notepad. Here we go. This is my cat notepad. So have, you know, your favorite notepad, whatever it is, get your pens out. Um, I want you to participate as much as you can. So welcome. Shut off all those other distractions. It's time to focus. Shut the door. This is you time. We're going to, you know, focus on you, what matters to you and go through yeah, budgets, how to love your budget. So my material is not for everybody. This is a really good fit for you if you want to take charge or stay in charge of your money. It's a great fit if you're open to looking at things in a new way. It's a great fit for those of you who are eager to build a better future. Now, I can't really help you if you fall into these other categories. I mean, if, if this is not a good fit, it's okay to tune out, shut down, go do something that is important to you. If you dwell in the past and you aren't interested in self-improvement, I can't help you move forward. If you don't want to take responsibility for your finances, I can't help you. Uh, if you shut the door to opportunities and possibilities, this also might not be a very good fit for you. Okay, so I hope that you are still here with us today. Yes, you are here. So let's let's keep going forward. So hey, this is a, a picture of me. I, I took um, signed up for an ATV uh, a tour in a canyon. It was just uh, outside Bryce Canyon National Park, and this is you know this is actually this is what my budget is all about. My budget is all about travel and experiences. That is what's important to me. A budget is really about your priorities. But I'm going to tell you what. There was a time in my life when I didn't have a budget. I didn't have steady income. I was living in poverty. And I had to come up with the cash to pay the landlord um, uh, rent. It was kind of, you know, under the, under the radar. I had to, I needed the money for, for groceries. And I needed to maintain my car. And as long as I had enough money coming in to do that, and I had to depend on my credit card too. I mean, things were bad. I was, uh, it took me several years to get back on my feet and get a nice salaried position. But during those times, I, I will admit it, I didn't really budget. It was depressing to me to look at my money, to think about my money. It just added to the, you know, I'm not in good shape. Now, these days, I know that even when I've had a terrible month, a terrible week, I am going to look at those numbers because I have enough experience to know that I am in control of changing those numbers. So I do have, I believe that budgets are a tool of empowerment. It means we're in charge. We're not, I'm not just a victim, but I totally get it. If you're at a point in your life where it's like, you know what, uh, it's bad news. Budgets are just bad news. I, I really don't want to deal with it. I get it. I get it. But we're going to work through that because budgets are just numbers. Budgets are numbers. And I want to change the way you think about budgeting. 
So this is a recording. This is a presentation where I want you to sign up for our Wealth Builder program. And I'm going to be right up front with you right now. I'm going to talk a little bit more about what that means. But I invite you to sign up for the Wealth Builder program. February is all about Budget Love Month. We're going to actually work on your budget. You, if you need one, we'll help you create one. If you've got one, we'll help you tweak it. So more on that later. But I want you to, to, to realize that, hey, this is an opportunity for me to get my budget in line. And February is coming up. And what a, what a terrific time to focus on my budget. Budgeting, just a small, small part of financial freedom. I mean, financial freedom, it's about growing your income, cutting the expenses. You've got that big gap in the middle, but it's about your dreams. When you have financial freedom, you can afford to take some risks. Maybe even leave your job and do something that really feeds your soul. Everybody has a different dream. Financial freedom will get you to that dream. The budgeting just a tiny little piece of it. It is a basic component. Absolutely. Budgeting, figuring out your net worth. Those are two of the big, big pieces that are your starting point. So let's go ahead and get started. So are you ready? I want to know that you're ready. You got your piece of paper. Come on, cats. Come on, cats. Yeah, I travel with three cats. So I, I am one of those cat ladies. Absolutely. So Get out this piece of paper, one to five. Are you ready? One, no, no, I'm not so sure. Five, yep, I'm ready to go. Okay, no distractions. I want to plow right into this. Here's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to talk about three obstacles, three of the most common obstacles I see to people setting up budgets, budgets that work, and three of the shifts that we can make. Okay, let's get right started to it. So if I were to say, what do you think about budgets? What are budgets about? I'd love for you to pause here and tell me what you think budgets are for. What is your sense of budget? What does a budget mean to you? What does that word mean to you? So pause, write down, and then come on back. So for many of us, I'm going to use my, um, a client I had, I'll call her Chris. So Chris remembers as a kid watching her mom sit down at the dining room table and go through the budget. And she was not a happy person. You know, this was, she heard her sigh a lot and just, you know, and, and after mom was done with the budget, Often she would hear things like, well, we really can't afford to go to that movie this week. I'm so sorry, honey. We can't get the pair of pants. It's just not in the budget. And so Chris began to think of a budget as this onerous, tedious, horrific process that only meant that she couldn't do things, that she would have to make sacrifices. Because for most of us, most of us have been taught that budget is about controlling your expenses. You know, it's it's about deprivation. It's about, oh, I got a budget. I, 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 I went over my budget. I had, you know, $300 for dining out and I ended up spending $400. Oh, it's a disaster. I just, you know, it's all about cutting your expenses. Here's what's different about what we do about the journey to financial freedom, about Gutsy Women Finances. Uh-uh, a budget is about saving money. It's a savings tool, not a spending tool. Think about the shift that you would feel. You know, you wrote down what a budget meant to you. How do you feel about having your budget as a savings tool? It feeds that adventure jar. It feeds that retirement jar. It feeds that house jar. I have no idea what that jar is in the background, but it feeds you. It feeds your fun stuff. It feeds your good stuff. You save, you put your money away for savings, and then you use what's left over. That's that's it. So how does that feel to you when you make that shift from, oh, yeah, I got to do my budget. I got to cut my expenses too. Hmm. 
I wonder how much I can put into my adventure jar this month. I'm going to kind of push the envelope a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe I'm, I, I really am thinking about my future self and I need a little bit more in retirement. How does that feel when you make those shifts so that your whole mindset is not about what you're losing, what you're depriving yourself of, but what you're gaining, what you are building for the future. That's the shift we have to make. Another client, Amanda. Okay. Amanda came to me and she said, you know, I really suck at math. I've, I have tried budgeting so many times. January 1st comes along. I have this fresh sparkling budget. I'm going to do it by the end of the month, by the end of January. I'm like, this isn't working. I'm over my categories. I don't like this process at all. I just suck at it. There's just, it's, this is just not my style. This is just not working for me. So my answer to Amanda is, look, we all have different budget personalities. What works for me doesn't necessarily work for you. You are failing at your budget because you're using the wrong tool. So you stop using it. The best, people ask me all the time, well, what is the best budgeting tool? And I always tell them the best budgeting tool is the one that you use. It's the one that you use. You might like spreadsheets. You might hate spreadsheets. You love them? A spreadsheet can be your answer. You might love apps. You might hate apps. Maybe the apps are your answers. Maybe there's a whole nother approach to budgeting that you will like, that feels fun for you. So I have different budget personalities and our goal is to match the tool with your personality so you can succeed. So this doesn't feel like I failed again. So that's the secret, matching your the tool with your particular budget personality. So the other piece that goes on is, uh, you know, what, what's a budget about? If you're not prioritizing and you're just spending mindlessly, your budget is probably going to be blown every single month. So you've got that piece of paper. I want to ask you what's important to you when it comes down to budgeting, when it comes down to your money, how you want to spend it. Three things that are the most important to you. So go ahead, pause. Let me know what you think. And come on back here and let's talk a bit about what is important to you. Now, I, I mentioned, you know, I, I lived in poverty for a while and, and, um, oops, cat time. There we go. There we go. That was Dolly. She's an older cat and, uh, and likes to step on my keyboard. So I kind of gave her a help down today. So when I, when I did live in poverty, I could not get to the point of asking what's important to me. When you are in survival mode, you're just trying to pay the rent and you're just trying to get by, pay the groceries and pay the, pay the basic expenses. It's really hard to prioritize. It's tough to say what's important to you. Now, what happens to most people is their income eventually goes up. They get a better job. They get a better salary. Maybe they get a side hustle, get some extra income coming up, coming in. And there's this concept called lifestyle creep. So they get more money and then they spend more money, move to a better neighborhood, move to a bigger house, get a newer car. All those things happen without people stopping, without them pausing and saying, you know, is this really important to me? So a budget is about setting priorities. If it's not important, it doesn't go in your budget. If it's important, it does go into your budget. But think about how you want to be spending your money. You know, there's a trade-off. You blow your money today, you've got nothing tomorrow. You know, you, you get laid off, the job disappears, there's some type of emergency. And if you're out of money in a month or two, you're really in, in you're up the creek without a paddle, right? So it's about prioritizing. There's that trade-off between spending today and saving for tomorrow. And it doesn't have to be, oh, I can't spend anything because I've got to save for tomorrow. It's a matter of how are you spending your money. So I love to travel. I spend my money on travel. I spend my money on excursions. And uh, partly that's why I live in my RV. I can keep the housing expenses way down. 
because I'm paying campground fees and staying in the incredible state parks, national parks. I'm, I'm doing all kinds of fun stuff. That is what feeds my soul. That's my priority. So my expenses, dining out isn't important to me. So I actually limit that. It is all about your priority. So when you begin to use your budget as a way to feed your priorities, to feed your fun, you can do it. It, it, becomes, it becomes something you want to do. So those are the three big things, the three big obstacles. Are we think about budgets in the wrong way. We think about it as, oh, I got to deprive myself. It's all about cutting my expenses. We need to shift to abundance. And it's an abundance mindset. I'm really using it to save it. I'm save money. I'm really using it to look at my future self. Second challenge we have is I failed. I, I just, I can't do budgets. It's just, I've tried it before. I failed. Okay. We're going to shift to making you a successful budgeter by getting you the right tool, the one that fits with your personality. Third thing is I don't know. I mean, I really haven't set my priorities. I'm just kind of mindlessly spending my money. You go from there to really thinking about those priorities. If you wrote priorities down, how are you funding them? It's about feeding your priorities. It's about making the budget actually fun. Okay. I've covered some really big stuff and I want you now to just take a deep breath this is a really good time to pause, take in these beautiful daisies, look at the clouds moving, begin to feel the power come within yourself, the energy of being strong, that you can do this, that this is a journey where you're going to end up in a place where you don't have to worry about money. Maybe you're dancing through this field, just like, you know what? I got my money aligned with my priorities. I'm looking out at my future self. I'm building my dream life. I'm in charge. I'm the boss. No worries. This is cool. No worries. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Okay. Now, how did that feel to just, just think about that? Is there, of the things that we've covered, is there still one thing that's hanging over you that says, I'm your biggest roadblock, honey, to financial freedom, to budgeting? If there is, think about it, write it down. What is your biggest challenge? Now, if we've already covered it, if we've talked about, you know, the way you think about a mindset, you can shift that. If we've talked about the idea that you hate budgeting, you're no good at it got to find the right tool. If, if you haven't set priorities, all those things you can change. So think about what deep down inside is holding you back from creating this really powerful budget to taking charge of your money. What is it? Okay. Now, are you ready to move the elephant? Are you ready to move the elephant? Because that's what we're doing in February. You, know, you might you might have all those negative feelings about budgeting. Come into the Wealth Builder Program. I have just overhauled what we're doing here because this is going to be hands-on. We're going to actually build and tweak your budget. I am going to give you a template and show you how it works, a simple budgeting template. Okay, I'll go through it with you. You can go through it. You're going to be able to download it, write in your own numbers, get that going. If you already have, I'm going to talk about those tools too, right? So this is the basic, but I'm going to talk about how your budget tool, I've got different personality types. So we're going to match those two. So we're going to talk about your budget personality and the types of tools you should use. Now, the fun part too is if you already have a budget in place and you want to tweak it, bring your budget. You're going to be able to share your screen, You're going to be able to talk about what your questions are, what's going on, what's not going on, how do I handle this? You know, here's this expense that I only comes up, you know, once every six months. What do I do with that? Whatever questions you've got, let's tweak your budget. We can build your budget. We can tweak your budget. All that's going on February 1st, very hands on. Okay. That's the excursion. Our road trip excursion is building and tweaking your budget. In between that and our sharing event, 
which is, you know, you've gone through the process. I'm going to give you some prompts. So we actually have a meetup room in Gutsy Women Finances under the Wealth Builder Program. I'm going to give you a couple of prompts, share what's happening with your budget. That's the place to, to ask questions to so that we can work through your budget. It's so February 15th. We're going to do the sharing event. How did it go? What sorts of things are you hung up on? How do we move forward from here? That's what we're doing in February. We're moving that elephant. We're taking the mystery out of it, and we are taking charge of our money. So I want you to come into Budget Love Month. Right now, my price is $75 per month. It's a subscription-based. You can pop into one month. You can decide the next month isn't right for you. You do get a deal, $750 for the year. So you get two free months when you sign up for the annual subscription. It's a pretty reasonable way to get yourself going on the money front, building financial freedom. So I'm inviting you right now to sign up for the Wealth Builder Program. Oh, I'm really excited about this. I'm, I'm so pumped up about the whole road trip theme. I am so pumped up about being able to help you with your personal budget. So pumped up. Going to leave this on uh, this, this quote. The budget is not just a collection of numbers, but an expression of our values and aspirations. That's what I want you to think about. So when you're, you know, when you've got your notes out and you're thinking about your obstacles and how to get through that and you're thinking about what it is you, how you feel about a budget, this is it. It's not numbers. It's an expression of your values and aspirations. So join us in February in the Gutsy Women Finances, the Wealth Builder Program. And hey, if you've got any questions, email me in the Gutsy Women Finances. Just message me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I will see you in February in the Budget Love Month. Let's take care of this. You guys take care and see you there. Bye-bye.